In this video, we're going to cover one of the fundamentals of chart work, and I'm going to show you how you can measure distances on a nautical chart. Take a look at this map here. Down in the bottom left corner, you'll notice there's a scale bar. But if we go over to this nautical chart, you'll notice there is no scale bar. Instead, we have to use these numbers up the sides. They're the parallels of latitude, and we can use those to measure distances. The ones at the top and the bottom, though, that are showing you the parallels of longitude, those can't be used for measuring distances. And there's a simple reason why. Take a look at these two globes. On the left, we've got lines indicating parallels of latitude. And on the right, we've got ones indicating parallels of longitude. Notice how the parallels of latitude are actually parallel. This distance here is the same as this distance here, which is the same as this distance here. When we look at the parallels of longitude, however, you notice this distance here is greater than the distance here, which is greater than the dis distance here. They converge as it gets towards the north or the south pole. And that's because the, well, it's because the Earth is a sphere. What this means is that the lines of latitude can give us a consistent reference point on a nautical chart for measuring distances, where the lines of longitude can't. That's great, but how do you actually me measure the distance? Say I've got two points here, and I want to know the distance between them. Well, you can use nautical dividers, and what you do is you set them to be the same as the distance between the two points, and then transfer those to the side of the chart where you can read off the change in latitude between your two points. And we can use the very simple conversion of one arc minute of latitude equals one nautical mile to effectively read the distance in nautical miles from the side of the chart. Zooming in much closer, it's a bit easier to explain. So you can see down here, we've got a 20 degree line. Here we've got a 25 degree and here we've got a 30 degree. So we've got five degrees of latitude change between each one. Remember, each degree can be further split down into 60 arc minutes. So if we multiply our five degrees by 60 arc minutes, tells us that the distance between these two is 300 nautical miles. Obviously using a chart to measure those kind of distances across this kind of like small distance, we're not gonna get very accurate results, but what we can do when we need accurate results is go to a different scale chart. On this one, we're much closer zoomed in, so you can see we've got a 20 minute here and a 15 minute here. Remember the last one was in degrees, this one's only in minutes, so there's only actually five miles between the two. If you look a bit closer in, you can see that there's different colours. So we've got a black line here, then a white, then a black, then a white, then another black. So each of these is marking off one mile along that interval. If you look really closely, you can also see that there's lots of tiny little dashes. So they're further broken down into 0.1 nautical miles or one cable between those tiny dashes. But did you notice the other even more interesting thing? Down here, this chart has got a scale bar. Not all charts have it, but when you get zoomed in this close, they might. To see why it can only work on a couple of charts, let's hop back to the main ocean chart. Okay, this one is showing a huge proportion of the North Pacific Ocean. Remember down the side here, we were having five, five degree or 300 mile intervals. So different distance between this line here and this line here, up here, this is 300 nautical miles. The same would apply between each of these parallels of latitude. So even up here, where we've got a parallel here, there's another parallel here, if you can see. This distance here is also 300 nautical miles. But do you see, this is actually much bigger than this. Although they're still five degrees apart or 300 miles apart, the the size of the line on the chart itself appears bigger. And this is due to the distortions thanks to the Mercator projection where you're, you're projecting a 3D sphere onto a 2D chart. So something's got to give somewhere. Effectively, across this kind of distance, parallels of latitude are distorted further apart towards the poles. So you'll never find a scale bar on a chart of this kind of size where you might when it's much closer zoomed in and these differences aren't really going to have much of an effect. This is why with nautical charts, we always use that latitude scale to measure distances. 
Remember, between the two points, you set your dividers, you transfer it straight to the side where you can read the distance off the scale bar. The important thing is to remember to move your dividers straight to the right or to the left and not up and down because that's when these distortions occur because this distance here is not going to give you the right answer if you try and measure it off the latitude scale right at the top or right at the bottom. It's got to be in line with where you want to measure. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Hopefully that's helped you understand a, a bit of the technical details about measuring distances on a chart and made it all slightly easier to understand. If you'd like a bit more help, check out the link in the description where you can head over to my website where I've written all this up and there's a couple of good pictures over there that you might find interesting. Otherwise, make sure you check out the Casual Navigation community if you'd like some additional help learning about maritime navigation. I I get way too many comments across my YouTube channel, so the community itself provides an easy place for you to get closer access to me and me to actually see everything that people are saying. Anyway, until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.